Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a Melissa Mazur makeup look based on their music video, Lucille. And the band member I'll be doing a base top of is Mona, of course. So first off, I'm going to be using this Ben Nye Clown White right here. And it really, really sucks, but I'm going to use it anyways. And I'm just going to apply that to my entire face. Afterwards, you want to go in with a white stain powder. This one here is from Ben Nye. Very softly, pat this over the white face paint. This really makes sure that the white face paint won't move around all day long. Now it's time to go in with eyeshadows. First, I'm going to use this blue color right here from the Enchanted Forest palette by Sleek Makeup. First, I'm going to use an angle liner brush. And I'm going to draw a line directly above my eyelid crease. Now Mana has mild lids, which means he has no distinct eyelid crease. So he fakes an eyelid crease with makeup. However, since I do have an eyelid crease, I'm going to fake this effect by drawing slightly above my eyelid crease. So after creating that new crease, I'm going to apply some more blue on the outer edges of my eyelids. Mana really likes to apply shadow right here, either very softly or very intensely. However, for today, we're going to make this a little bit more soft. Now reach for a black eyeshadow. I'm using this one here from Makeup Geek called Corrupt. So, taking an angled line brush, I'm first going to line my upper eyelids. I'm basically drawing in where I want my eyeliner to be. When you reach the end of your eye, do not wing this out. Instead, bring this downward towards your lower eyelids. However, when you do so, make sure to leave a small gap between your lower eyelid and the eyeliner. Afterwards, you want to use a bluish purple shadow. I'm using this one here from the Enchanted Forest palette. And using a very small pencil brush, I am redefining that crease once again to make it stand out a little bit more. I'm also buffing a tiny amount along the outer edges of my eyelids. I'm going to reach for this liquid eyeliner, which is from IT Cosmetics. It's very similar to the Cap Von D um, Trooper eyeliner, which um, I prefer this much more since it's much more pigmented. But I'm just taking that and applying a small line right on my upper eyelid, doing the same on the lower eyelid, making sure to extend that line out to the inner corners of my eyes. Now for eyebrows. You want to use a brow product that's meant for blonde hair. I'm using this cream gel formula right here from Benefit Cosmetics. Mana has very 90s-esque sperm eyebrows, but they look kind of good, so... <clears throat> so just draw a very thin line, curving upward, until you reach the outer half of your eye. And you want to bring that downward in a diagonal. Afterwards, you want to very carefully fill that in. The ends of his eyebrows are very, very thin, while the inner parts sort of widens into a curve. One thing that I do need to mention here is that these eyebrows need to look perfect. His eyebrows are always very clean looking and very precise, so 
you want to make sure that it looks very, very precise. Like eyebrows on a doll. Now for mascara. Of course, I'm reaching for my It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara, but you can use any mascara you prefer. Applying this to my upper and lower lashes. Mana usually applies false lashes on his top and bottom lashes. However, I'm only going to apply false lashes on my upper lashes only. Great, so let's move on to the rest of the face. First, I'm going to use that same blue shadow once again on a very small pencil brush. And I'm using that to draw two lines right below each eye. Then drawing two lines, coming out from the sides of my eyes. Afterwards, applying two dots of eyelash glue, right below each line. Then applying little blue diamonds on top. Now for the lip makeup, which is actually pretty hard to do. So first I'm going to fill in the lip shape of mainly the top lip. His lip starts with a very deep cupid's bow. Then drawing two lines, curving up and around my lip line, slightly exaggerating the lip line itself. His top lip is always bigger than his bottom lip, and it's always overlined. I'm just mixing these two blue lip colors together to create my own custom shade and applying that on my top and bottom lip, following the guide I just drew. After that, and this is optional by the way, I'm taking this loose iridescent pigment from Sugar Pill. and applying that to the center of my bottom lip and my top lip. And I have no clue why I did this. Why did I do this? It's such a mystery. But anywho, this completes my mana transformation. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and if you haven't already, please hit subscribe and the bell icon to see future uploads from me. Yes indeed. So, with that said, I will see you all later.